Hey there everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Ajmi Hongos and recently I got this Keep Monkey macro pad. I was super excited to use it until I tried to load up the software and unfortunately the tutorials from a few months ago no longer work. So I looked all across the internet and the software that everybody recommends is can I use the uh, terrible name for software to look it up on YouTube, but hopefully you find it. And I'm gonna take you on the step-by-step -step guide to figuring all this out. So first and foremost, you want to you know, plug in your device. And unfortunately, if you're like me and use Firefox, you will get an error like this. So you have to use a Chromium-based browser. For me, I like to use the Arc browser. So from this point on, if you press the start button, it should work like regular. But if you look at the keypad and you look at my keyboard, this is not the same configuration. So I was like, what the heck, why isn't this working? So I dug around and the answer is right in front of me. You have to go to this section of KeyMonkey or wherever you bought the macro pad from. And for me, it's this wiki page. So I'm gonna go in here, I'm gonna find my keypad and the key map. Once you find your device that you want to customize, you're gonna download the file. It should be a .json file. You're gonna unzip that. You downloaded your file, you're super excited, everything's going super well, but you drop in your file right here. Uh, you even click show matrix, whatever that means. And you click on this and you think if you go into configure, it'll work, but it still will say that it's looking for the device. So you're gonna hit refresh. And what's super important is use V2 definition. The, the, I can't read, English is my third language. Uh, so you're gonna hit that in there. I just hit show matrix just cause that thing looks cool. And then it will show up. Yeah, that, that's literally the setup and how to install this software. Hopefully that helps you because it was such a pain in the butt to get this going. I was really excited to set up macros like a macro to launch both Firefox and Spotify and turn do not disturb on. If anybody knows how to do that, please let me know um, and leave a comment down below or hit me up on Twitter. I'd love to really get to know the world of this little macro pad. Hopefully that helps. Make sure to follow me on Twitter. And as always, I thank you so much for your time and your attention. My name is Hongos and I'll catch you in the next one.